Hello, welcome to our English class. Today we're going to talk about if conditionals type 2. This is the material for chapter 4 in Pathways to English Kelompok Peminatan. What is the function of conditional process? It is used to express an activity which can take place if a certain condition is fulfilled. Look at the example. I will open the door if you give me the key. In this sentence, we can learn that an activity of opening the door can take place if the key is given. Therefore, we can conclude that the condition required is if you give the key. And the expected result is I will open the door. Therefore, we can conclude that if starts the condition required or needed. And the expected result is the main sentence. Now, let's continue with conditional type 2, talking about a present situation. Listen to the conversation between Kim and Ren. Look at this hat, Ren. Whoa, it's beautiful. I would buy the hat if I were you. Will Ren buy the hat? The answer is no. Now, let's analyze the sentence. Ren's statement, I would buy the hat if I were you, indicates the fact that Ren will not buy the hat because she is not Kim. Please find out that will not, in the conditional form, is changed into would buy, and is not is changed into word. Therefore, we can conclude that conditional clause is contrary to the fact in the present. From the two sentences, we can conclude that conditional clause type 2 contains main clause and if clause. The main clause contains subject plus would plus verb 1, while if clause contains simple past tense. And the meaning is the conditional sentence is the opposite to the real situation in the present. Please remember that you can use if clause at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. And use comma if the if clause is at the beginning of a sentence. Also remember, only word is used for academic writing. For example, if Jake were here, he would help us. The use of was is not allowed. That is all our discussion today. Thank you.